All right, everybody, I'm going to show you this mathematical trick that my students actually love to do. Actually, they beg to, can we do more of this? Can we do more? And the cool thing for me is it used to take me two to three weeks to teach um, double digit or long multiplication. Now, 90% of my students get it in one day, in one lesson. And not only that, they can do triple digit times double digit in one lesson and they love it because it's creative and fun so we're going to show you how this box right here makes this math super easy and if you watch the other tutorials you can see some of the problems there are none of those problems in this method it actually shows you some easy ways to really think about the numbers and kind of get a better sense of numbers so the first thing is and it really doesn't matter order does not matter in this which is true to multiplication you can do it in any order you want but let's we need to look at the 86, so you just have to read it like it is, 86 or 80 plus 6 is the real meaning here. And then you take the other number, whatever it is, and you do 70 plus 4, 74, 70, oops, wrong number, let's do 74, that number, plus. So now if you look where these meet, you just have to multiply them. And that's really what you're doing when you're doing this multiplication. You're going to do 70 times 8. Now, the trick I showed you in the last part 2 of this video is you just do the basic one. You have to know 7 times 8. If you don't know those facts, try Extra Math. ExtraMath.org is a great site for learning those facts. 8 times 7 is 56. And you stick the two. There's two zeros there. So you stick the two zeros at the end. Now you just... This is the only part that sometimes at first the students can't see, but we're going to kind of bring this one and we're going to meet them together. So let me get rid of those. So 70 times 6, 7 times 6 is 42. And there's that one zero. Oh, don't you love those zeros? 420. And finally, now you just go, you do the same thing. You got to do 80 times 4. You just kind of, you know, it's like a battleship. You just kind of line up the two things. And then where they meet, you multiply them. So you got 8 times um, 4, which is 32. And there's one zero to stick on the back, 320. And then the last one is just um, 6 times 4, which is 24. I like to write it like this, because this is the way I think about it in my mind. Instead of writing out, I write 20 plus 4. That way I can look around to see what's the easiest way to add this. Now, the coolest thing ever is look how creative you can be. You don't have to remember columns. You can look. You just have to add all these numbers up. So what's easy? Ooh, look here. I love when I discover these. 600 and 400. Well, that's 1,000. You start to learn these really quick when you do these methods. You start to learn about these compatibles. So I like to, so we've gotten rid of those. We've got 5,000 already there. Now, I'm writing these all down, but I do these and. All my students do much faster in their head. So we've got 5,000 and 1,000. Well, what's left? Well, we've got 300 here, 20 and 20 and 20, 2, 4, 6. So that would be 60. So we can put that up there for now. Notice that the order, I can do them in any order I want. You can have fun with your order. There's still 300 there, and then there's just 4. So let's look at this. We've got 6,000. Look at the practice with place value. Again, this is all stuff I would do in my head. 6,364. 6,364. Now you just put them all together. 3,000. <laughs> Sorry. 6,364. And look at that. You've got the answer. You can do it any way you want. Um, that is the basics of this trick. It works with all double digits. It works with triple digits. You just need one more box. It's a great method. Again, students get this really quickly. They get it a lot faster. So if you're a parent or of a child who's just learning to do this, you'll, you know, if you sit down at the kitchen table and you're getting frustrated, try with that other method that you saw in the first tutorial. There's a reason your students having trouble because it doesn't make a lot of sense this way does and they get it try it and if you don't like it i'll give you your money back all right bye